Guys, welcome to Newcastle. Thank you. Thank you. What's your names? My name is Mustache. Mustache? My, it, yes, Mustache. And me, Ivan. Yeah. How are you doing? When did you get to Newcastle? Uh, I came this morning by plane. And, and me too, by plane. Have you been to Newcastle before? Sorry? Have you been here before? Uh, some years ago, I came in London, but the, it was only for vacation, not to, to attend the, a match. I mean, in England is my first time I'm coming to Newcastle and after I'm going to Liverpool, to Manchester. So, this is a, for Newcastle United, this is a big thing in the Champions League mm -mm -mm. for Paris Saint-Germain. What, what does it feel like for Paris Saint-Germain fan coming to Newcastle, a smaller club? It's uh, not, no, we're not seeing Newcastle as a, a small club. Uh, we respect uh, any, any op opponent and uh, we will do our best uh, uh, to, to support our team, PSG, and uh, that's all. And we need to make the job tonight. We yeah. will see tonight. But Newcastle, yes, it's a good team. We will see tonight Paris uh, what proposed. But yeah. Paris, it's every time here. Yeah. What, time, what do you think the score will be? For me, 3-1 for Paris. I'd say uh, maybe 2-0 or 2-1 for Paris uh, and German. 2-2. Two, two Mbappé goals. Uh, yeah. And one of Isaac, yeah. Allez, well, for Newcastle yeah. fans. Yeah, yeah. So, I've just been chatting to the boss here, the head of security for the uh, the Junkyard Golf Club. We are all the PSG fans, as you can see, they're heading in there right now. There's going to be hundreds of them inside. Unfortunately, they won't let us inside to do any filming, so I've tried. So I'll head down to the big market. My name is Mehdi. I'm Prev. Pleased to meet you and welcome to Newcastle. Thank you very much. We, we know UK because we live in London, but that's the first time for me in Newcastle and I heard a lot of good things about Newcastle so thank you for welcoming me. What good things have you heard about Newcastle? It's a student city with a lot of party going on and hopefully if we win tonight we will try to get involved, get involved in the party as well. Of course and you're playing Newcastle United, one of the biggest clubs if not the biggest club in the world. <laughs> Are you frightened? First of all I would like to congratulate Newcastle to play the Champions League because I know as a supporter you always want your team to play the Champions League. We are used to it, no offence, but we're used to it, but I'm very, I'm very happy that you guys, because you haven't been playing for a long time and I'm, I'm very pleased for the fans. So if we talk about football, Newcastle is a team that we have to respect because I watch them in the Prem and for me they play a, a good football, attacking football, they always go forward, they're not scared and I think Today they will play, they will be free to play, like I mean, they won't be scared because I think the most important thing for them is to please the fan. And score prediction? I think it's going to be 3 nil for us. 3 or 4 nil? 3 or 4 nil, yeah. Who would like, any in interviews? Sorry, I don't speak English. You, you do? <laughs> yeah? You speak better English than me, come on. I, I don't understand, sorry. Where did, where did you learn? Where did you where did you learn English? <laughs> do you live in England or do you live in Paris? Okay. You're all good at English as well. Can I ask somebody what, how they think the game is going to go tonight? Go on, you tell me. What? What do you your prediction for tonight? Uh, uh, two zero for Paris. Mbappe a score? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So it's coming up to five o'clock now and the big market has been taken over by the French. It's quite surreal actually. Hello mate. How are you doing? How are you? I'm good, thank you. You think you win tonight? Yeah, of course yeah, we'll win no, tonight. No. Mbappé. Mbappé. Yeah. Tonight. Mbappé. I've never heard no, of him. No, no. Who, who's Mbappé? Yeah. I love the French. J'adore les petites anglaises. I love, I love Newcastle. Where is Brian? Brian in the kitchen. <laughs> there you go, so all the... The French fans at the moment are in, in good fettle. I don't know how many there is, I don't know, a thousand or so who are taking over most of the balls here on the big market. There's a group here behind me who weren't very talkative at all. They didn't want to engage with any sort of interviews. Uh, but yeah, everything's good. What I am surprised at is unlike when the Toon Army invaded Milan down by the canal, it was absolutely mental. I have one question. Yes, go on. 
You know Kylian Mbappé? <laughs> you know him, huh? <laughs> you don't I'm know. <laughs> Down by the canal in Milan, the Geordies were singing their heads off and drinking. It's a completely different vibe here. There's hardly there's nice singing actually. Uh, there's a little chant uh, went on over there a couple of minutes ago, but yeah, completely different vibe. You know, see that lads, but lads behind me there look like they're hardcore ultras. Um, I may try and get in again shortly, but yeah, this is what the big market looks like. You swing it round, so yeah, you'll see. This is what the big market looks like at the moment with all these PSG fans here. There's a big police presence as well, you can see there. Making sure there's no kickoffs. Uh, my understanding is there's going to be some sort of police escort for the PSG fans up to St James's Park. I don't know if there is, I don't know if what that's going to look like if it does happen. But I'll try and bring you as much as I can. Right, ten past five. I've just been chatting to the police, who have just told me in the next half hour or so they're going to be marching the PSG fans uh, up Granger Street to the monument along Blackett Street and up Barrack Road towards the ground, so they'll be getting in quite early, which is uh, quite unusual for that to happen. I think actually something seems to be starting now. Let's go up and have a look. So the march up has just started here. Starting to get a bit uh, leery down there. There's been some bottles being thrown back and forwards. Um, well, you can hear we're slight behind us. Don't know if you can see the missiles being thrown back and forwards. I'm <laughs> afraid. Oh, the cup. Now we've got the big flag out now. The ultras. I'm literally meters. Two car lengths in front of them. I know, I know, I know. The drummer's telling us off. That's loud. to 
be honest, I'm really impressed. It looks impressive. Marching up the ground is one with the drums and the banners. There's a sight to be to be honest. I need one. Get a shove from the cops. So they're heading up Barrack Road now, next to St James's Park. I think I'll leave it there now. It's been an absolutely amazing scene, I have to be honest. Really impressive. I think I've said that before. A couple of thousand, 2,500 PSG fans, however many there are. Newcastle fans. Out in numbers here. Sending their heads off. Great to see. few attempts to have us moved on. Who are you trying to kid, man? Right in the middle of it. Love it. Look at the two army man. Outside St James is here. Anyway, let them go. Let them get up Barrett Road and let them get inside the stadium. Hope you've enjoyed that. <laughs>